It is so heartbreaking when a moment of deep grief is even more heartbreaking because adults behave like children. We know John Amos. He was iconic from good times to coming to America and more. He died recently in August, but we didn't find out until earlier this week. Well, after his death was made public, his daughter, his granddaughter, his business manager, his brother, his niece, business associates, they all released a joint statement. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's very long, but the cliff notes is they're very sad and distressed. Over the last year, they allege that John Amos was isolated from his family and close friends by his son, KC Amos. Not only that, they are also alleging elder abuse. Ooh. They also say that John suffered from dementia and that they had to find out about his passing from the media, which is sad. I don't think they should have found out through the press. And they take it a step further, saying, quote, While we mourn the loss of our beloved father, we are also saddened and outraged by Casey Amos' actions. We refuse to rule out the possibility of foul play. John Amos was 84 years old. 84, and according to you, had dementia as well? Come on. Well, the reason that his daughter and others did not find out about his death is because that was John Amos's last wish. He did not want them to. In response to this joint statement that was released, Belinda Foster, the longtime, decades-long publicist of John Amos, has released herself a statement. I have to read it to you. This one's pretty short. Quote, I represented John Amos for over 30 years as his publicist of record. The media knows this along with John's agencies of record. Over the years, we grew close to one another to the point of a familial relationship. In the last few years, he often referred to me as his daughter. This was not a fraud by John Casey or myself. He was like a father to me. I deeply mourn his passing. Shannon's claims that John was abused are false. Casey, Eugene, and I, along with numerous others, cared for him on several occasions when Shannon claimed that he was abused. Law enforcement authorities sat with John and confirmed his well-being. Whew! At the time of John's passing, KC was under a strict no-contact order from the Superior Court of New Jersey based on the complaint that his sister Shannon brought against him in 2023. As a condition of his pretrial release, KC is precluded from making any contact with Shannon directly or indirectly by phone, social media, or any method of communication. At the time of his death, John was concerned that Shannon might turn his death and interment into a circus as she had done with other aspects of his life. It was John who requested the delay in announcing his death to Shannon and the rest of the world. And in the 2023 business of it all, his sister was alleging elder abuse back then and blah, 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 blah. And, like, ay, 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 ay. Oh. and it got so messy too. The statement from the sister was alleging that the brother was trying to change their dad's will and collect life insurance and even brought up his struggles with addiction and mental health issues and a previous arrest record. The publicist says, sorry that Shannon has chosen this path, but consistent with John's approach, I will respond to her with firmness, but compassion. John loved Shannon, his daughter, but she was a difficult child to the point 
that John had to order that an unauthorized GoFundMe page that she put up in June 2023 be shut down. For those concerned with John's state of mind, I should note that John had interviews with People Magazine, Variety Magazine, Hollywood Reporter, and acted in Suits LA all recently in 2024. Medical authorities have interviewed him in the last year and found him to be mentally sound. And closing things, she says, for the sake of preserving John's well-earned reputation as a superb actor and a community activist, we hope we can put to rest these nonsensical claims that Shannon is offering out of her own pain as a result of estrangement from her father. A death certificate for John Amos listed congenitive heart failure as his cause of death. Rest in peace and be in peace to all of his children and family members.